From old family houses predating the Revolutionary War to grand mansions built during the Industrial Revolution, there's a lot to explore in the upstate New York's Hudson Valley. The mansions here, they're filled with beautiful art, surrounded by stunning scenery, and hold a significant piece of American history. So, if you're planning a trip to the Hudson Valley, make sure you include these seven remarkable mansions on your itinerary. Welcome to Old Money Lives, where we explore the lives and homes of those beyond our normal reach. Number 1. Kikyut Kikyut was John D. Rockefeller Jr.'s personal playground. A 40-room sprawl of neoclassical grandeur perched above the Hudson River. Think less Monopoly money, more real-life game board where opulence met art, nature, and a whole lot of green, both literally with the sprawling lawns and figuratively with the Rockefeller fortune. Step inside and you'll be greeted by more than just fancy furniture. The Ming Dynasty treasures here, the world's largest collection, mind you, would make any antique lover swoon. Feeling zen, the serene Japanese tea house awaits, offering a moment of tranquility. Beyond the bling, Kikyut holds for its visitors the legendary Beatrix Farron's masterpiece. Meticulously landscaped gardens with secret paths, reflecting pools, and sculptures that blend seamlessly with the natural landscape. History buffs will draw over the art collection. Ancient Chinese treasures rub shoulders with modern masterpieces. Valuable ceramics mingling with Renaissance textiles. And paintings so exquisite that they'd make any museum jealous. And then there are the hidden gems. The bowling alley, yes, you heard that right. The antique car collection, Rockefeller was a car enthusiast too. And the pipe organ room that could fill the whole mansion with music. Number 2. Lindhurst Next up, let's step back into a fairy tale at Lindhurst. A 19th century masterpiece built by railroad magnate William Merritt. Soaring gothic arches frame stained glass windows that cast colourful shadows. Intricate woodwork whispers of medieval times and opulent furniture speaks of wealth and status. But Lindhurst also, like the other mansions on the list, holds its fair share of surprises. For instance, the Priest's Hole, a secret room used for hiding during religious persecution, and the Smoking Room, where gentlemen could indulge in their vices away from prying eyes. Feeling transported to the Orient yet? How about the Turkish Room, a stunning chamber inspired by Ottoman palaces? complete with intricate tilework, mosaic lamps, and mesmerizing hand-painted ceilings. And don't miss the iconic conservatory, a stunning glass building filled with unique plants and hanging greenery. Still not enough, how about a stroll through the gardens? Made to match the mansion's gothic style. Neatly trimmed lawns with colorful flower beds offer a nice contrast to the strong stone front. And you can always see the Hudson River nearby. Number 3. Startsburg Startsburg isn't your typical Gilded Age mansion. Sure, it boasts the grandeur you'd expect, opulent rooms adorned with period furniture, glittering chandeliers and sweeping views of the Hudson River. But beneath the surface lies a different story. This Vanderbilt mansion was also home to Ogden Mills and his wife, Mary, known for their progressive social views. So, exploring the mansion, you're able to discover their commitment to social reform. Learn about Mary's fight for women's suffrage and Ogden's work on labor laws and public health initiatives. Exhibits showcase their efforts alongside the opulent lifestyle they enjoyed. Startsburg isn't just about the past, though. It's relevant today, too. Educational programs explore social justice issues, encouraging visitors to consider their own role in creating a more equitable society. Craving more Gilded Age grandeur? Subscribe and join the adventure. Will unlock more hidden gems one mansion at a time. Number 4. Olana. Imagine a house that breathes art. That's Olana. The stunning mansion located atop a Hudson River hill. Once the home and studio of renowned landscape painter Frederick Edwin Church, the mansion itself is a masterpiece, blending Italianate and Middle Eastern styles. Step onto the balcony and gasp! The very landscapes that inspired Church's iconic paintings unfold before you. Rolling hills, majestic trees, and the ever-changing river. Wander through the gardens designed by Church himself, each path carefully curated to evoke emotions. Inside, the art continues. Church's personal collection adorns the walls alongside his personal collections. Artifacts from his travels, paintings by his contemporaries, and even furniture he designed himself. Number 5. Vanderbilt Mansion 
At number five is, yes, you guessed it, another Vanderbilt mansion. It's like the area owes a debt to the wealth and ambition reflected in these grand monuments. This mansion, though, unlike its cousins, is more like a French chateau plopped onto the Hudson River built by railroad baron Frederick William Vanderbilt to shout his family's success from the rooftops, or rather, gables. As you cross the threshold, the grand reception hall welcomes you with soaring ceilings and a majestic staircase. Intricate woodwork whispers of skilled artisans. Plush velvet drapes framing windows and grand fireplaces crackle with warmth. It's not just about showboating, though. Peek into the servants' quarters for a reality check. Cramped rooms and narrow hallways remind you of the unseen heroes who kept the mansion running. But hey, even the servants had a grand view from the kitchen windows. While the Turkish smoking room offers a cozy retreat with intricate tile work and plush divans, perfect for gentlemen seeking privacy, the library is filled with leather-bound books and mahogany shelves. Number 6. Boscobel How about we forget the bling of bold of other mansions for a second? Boscobel, you see, a riverside gem built in the Romantic Revival style, is all about charm and uh, tranquility. Think picture-perfect gardens, each bloom hand-picked for a postcard-worthy scene. Breathing in the fresh air, wandering along cobblestone paths and admiring the vibrant flowers and perfectly sculpted hedges. It's a Jane Austen novel minus the corsets, thankfully. Inside, the cosy vibe continues. Crackling fireplaces, comfy nooks for curling up with a book, and walls adorned with personal touches that tell the story of the families who call Boscobel home. Each room holds a unique charm, a window into a simpler, more intimate era. But the real magic unfolds outside. Here, luxury isn't about gold leaf and chandeliers, but about the quiet beauty of nature and the simple pleasures of life. Imagine gazing at the sparkling Hudson River, feeling the sun warm on your face, and listening to the gentle lapping of water against the shore. Number 7. Montgomery Place Last, but not least, is Montgomery Place. With a fascinating history that goes way back to the Revolutionary War days. It all started when Janet Livingston Montgomery, the widow of a famous general, decided to build this place in 1802. Back then, it wasn't a fancy mansion, though. It was a hub for cool people like artists and thinkers. Fast forward to the Gilded Age and Montgomery Place got a serious upgrade. The Livingston family, who were big on styles and class, spruced up the joint big time. They hired a top architect, Alexander Jackson Davis, to design a super posh mansion. Victorian elegance replaced Georgian simplicity with elaborate turrets, stained glass windows, and richly decorated interiors reflecting the family's newfound wealth and social status. But it wasn't just about the house, the family went all out with the gardens, filling them with rare plants from all over the world. The best part? The place is still kicking today. You can wander around the gardens, check out the mansion, and even gain insights into the lives of the families who called it home through exhibits. It's a real-life history lesson, but way more fun than sitting in a classroom.